Hi guys, it's Mo from Mo Reads It, and today we're doing a fairy loot unboxing. Unfortunately, they put my address on the top of my box, so y'all should not be seeing that, but I love unboxing my fairy loot boxes, and for those who don't know, I'm still getting over this horrendous cold. It turned out I had the insert, the panini word right here, and yeah. It sucks. I hope to feel better sooner rather than later. And this box will hopefully help me do that because it's a fairy loot box and y'all just know how it just makes my heart twinkle when I get my book boxes. <sighs> I'm glad I didn't end up canceling this month because I would have been very sad with this horrible head cold slash you know what. So let us begin. The first item is a celestial mug. I assume since it says celestial mug that this is daughter of the moon goddess that's my theory y'all know I don't like mugs as items unless it fits my aesthetic because they usually don't end up matching my kitchen so I see no point of really having them so I'll probably end up giving this one away oh, wow character art is on point I do like how that it's dual toned like on the outside we have this gorgeous character art But on the inside, we have this lilac purple with a little moon at the bottom. Oh, this is microwave and dishwasher safe. Good to know. I never know if these mugs are, like, microwave and dishwasher safe. And for me, my mugs all have to be dishwasher and microwave safe because I don't like doing dishes. I will just toss in the dishwasher 90% of the time. This is technically a five-star item. It's just not a five-star item for me. So I'm probably going to give this, like, a two or a one. I, don't, I have no plans on using this thing. The next item are scrunchies, which I love. I love hair scrunchies so much. These are inspired by From Blood and Ash, but they honestly don't look like From Blood and Ash scrunchies, honestly. This looks more Halloween-y, like it's black and orange. It has like little daggers on it with little roses, while the other one is just white and black. It's really nice. I hope this can actually fit my hair. It does have lots of stretch to it, so... Hopefully it can tame this mane of mine. And these are from Blood and Ash scrunchies. This says, you're, abs you're an absolutely stunning and wondrous little creature. I always did not like from Blood and Ash. It was one of my worst books of 2021. I did not get the hype. It was just a disaster. It was a train wreck. And this quote kind of emphasizes that for me because I'm like, why are you calling them a little creature? I just did not like Hawk. Hawk? I don't remember what his name was. I did not like him as a character. I thought he was rude and annoying. But scrunchies are a must. I love scrunchies and my hair definitely needs them so five star item. Next item is Stardust Tea Strainer. Oh it's like two parts and you just put it into it. It just sits on top of the cup which is super cool since it comes with a cup today. Neither here nor there, but long ago. I think I know this quote. Where is this quote from? Oh, I don't remember. Stardust. I don't remember where this quote is from, but I have a, I have an inkling feeling. I have a potential guess if I remember what the book is called. But five star item. I think a tea straighter is so useful, especially now that I have this horrible ick. But yes tea strainer we're here for it it kind of looks like a a planet like this would be the planet and this would be the ring around the planet is anyone else getting that vibe or is that just me five star item so far so good red rising bottle opener okay it's like this cute little scythe bottle opener naturally this is from red rising I don't really drink, so can't really use this, but I guess if I ever want to open like bottled soda or something, but I don't really drink soda. I mostly drink tea and water and electrolyte packets. Maybe when my chronic illness goes away and I can start drinking again, I can use this, but until then, I can't use this. It's not like I drank much before, honestly got to the spoiler card so this month is cloak and dagger for may 2022 and the artwork is pretty cute 
it looks like two little spies or assassins i don't know but you guys know me and my artwork i love it Ooh, we have bookmark art i love these they're so pretty this is the foiled mythology bookmarks this is loki and kimiho okay then i would never have got guessed either of these people but nice and these are cute i like them perfectly usable for my lifestyle five star items and the tarot cards of this month is actually from these hollow brows so this is brie and this is sebastian and finian i do like these hollow brows i read it when i was sick once upon a time ago and I truly enjoyed it, which I hope this book is a book I can read when I'm sick that keeps me immersed because I feel so bad. As always, character art is five stars for me. I love it so much. So I feel like all the items for this box so far has been like foodish themed. Like we have a bottle opener, a tea tree, and a bug. Except for the hair scrunchies. So that's really interesting. And so far I really like all the items in this box. I'm gonna give it four stars because the only thing I don't want to use in the box is a mug, but I can see how this would be a five-star box because I see a lot of people using a mug. So I think a lot of people would find this box to be a five-star box, but since I feel so sick and crappy right now, I'm not being able to produce the enthusiasm that I typically would, but this does really cheer me up while I'm sick. Oh, and the tea strainer. The quote is actually not from a book I've read. It's from the book that's of the book of the box for this month. So, interesting. It's time for the book. It's time for the book. Oh yeah, by the way, I was totally spoiled for this month's box. I haven't been feeling good. I've been on lots of YouTube and I totally spoiled myself. I would have still got guessed most of the items or all of the items. I didn't know what book is this. Are you ready for this? So this book is The Stardust Thief. It is a nice lilac -y sprayed edges happening right here you can't really see it that well and i think this is an exclusive cover let's see what the naked hardback looks like oh we have we have end page art end page art end page art don't we like to have some end page art it's so hard to say when you don't feel good <laughs> oh i like this i do like this a lot this is nice this is very nice. Neither here nor there, but long ago. I'm feeling mystery, maybe? I don't know. More end page art. Very nice. Very, very nice. What is this book even about? Inspired by the stories from 1001 Nights, the stardust thief leaves the gripping tale of a legendary smuggler, a cowardly prince, and a dangerous quest across the desert to find a magical lamp. Is this another retelling? So that sounds intriguing. I really like the character art for this. This looks like it's gonna be fun. We have a map. I know a lot of y'all really like maps. I could care less, but here you go. It's a map. I like this opening header page. It's very beautiful. So this book is thick. This is 460 pages. It is gorgeous. I am excited to read it. And this is book one in a trilogy, apparently. So you guys know me. I am a series girl. Series make me happy. So I am excited to read this. Honestly, I'll probably end up reading it in July, though. I feel like my June TBR is pretty packed. So this may be a July book. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see how much of my June TBR I complete. So far, I've already read one of the books on my June TBR, and we're on June 8th, June 7th, something like that. Oh, wow, we have character art for it. Very nice. I love character art, and these characters look so cute. I love them already. And, of course, we have our fairy loot bookmark we get for every book. So, I am excited to read this. I feel really crappy. I do feel pretty crappy, so I cannot muster the enthusiasm I typically would for a book. But this does really raise my spirits while I am so still very sick. Oh, hopefully I get over this soon and quickly because I'm tired of being sick. But, um, new book to read. Yay. While getting my fairy loot box, I also found an Amazon package, and I know it's bookish related, so I figured I'd open it with you guys as well. I got book tabs. 
I love tabbing my books. It's one of my favorite things to do with my physical reads. And these are a whole new color story, so I'm excited. So I got six different color stories. And look how pretty they are. Some coppery tones. Some bluey purple pastelis. Some earth tones. And a vibrant palette. I'm so happy. I love tapping things. Since this book is purple, I think I'll go with the neutral purpley palette. That's all folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this very low energy, unenthusiastic, fairy loot book box unboxing. I have videos every Friday and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time guys, happy reading. Please don't get sick. Bye. Mm -hmm.